What's cracking, guys? It is Friday, February 23rd, and I am just chilling here with little Miss Ava, and we are going to rock out a shoulder workout today. Sounds good. Oh, yeah, girl. Get it, girl. Does that feel good? Okay. Anyways, get into some comfy clothes. Get your nasty hair up. Well, your hair's beautiful, but get it up. Or don't, whatever, unless you want like sick, long, sweaty dreads in your face. And we're gonna bust out a shoulder workout. This shoulder workout can be done at home or at the gym. I'm gonna be doing it at home because, you know, I don't hate filming at the gym, but I don't love it. And what's better than a home workout where you can just be hideous and grunt loud and, but who am I kidding? I grunt loud as hell at the gym anyways, but whoops up girl, you're itchy. Um, what was I saying? Anyways, yeah, grunt loud, get sweaty, get gross. I mean, I get that anyways, anywhere. So, it doesn't really make a difference for me, but at least you can wear really mismatched clothes here, and I'm actually going to wear shorts at home, which I never do. Oh, what was that hand? Which I never do out in public, because, let's get real, that's one of the things that I need to work towards in terms of self-love, because... I'm scared shit's gonna pop out, and I'm scared that my cellulite's gonna be bumping. But that's okay, because the cellulite should be bumping. My body's been through a lot. Right? Bumping! Yeah! I swear she was just... Yeah! No, we can't get her to do it again. Anyways, like I was saying, get your runners on, get stoked, have a cup of coffee, have some water, grab some water, make sure you have a good breakfast full of healthy foods before we start this, and let's rock it out. And sorry, I didn't mean breakfast. I'm not trying to discriminate. It is the morning for me. Have a healthy meal or snack or whatever. Just whatever. Just eat some food, get some energy in you, and I'll meet you back here in five. All right, so it's time to rock out this shoulder workout. I'm not going to lie, this is pretty challenging, but you can make it a lot easier or a lot harder if you so desire. So what I have going is a set of 15 pound weights, 10 pounds, 8 pounds, and 5 pounds. That's just what I have at home. Hopefully one day I have a full gym, but you know, we'll work our way up to that. And I don't have a bench yet, so I'm going to be using just a plain old boring kitchen chair, but it gets the job done. So just grab all those things, get yourself ready, make sure that you have some water because in between sets we are going to be taking a short little break just because our shoulders are going to be working, they're going to be burning, um, so make sure you have some water to rehydrate. So before we get started, we're just going to do a quick warm up. I am going to go pretty easy, my knees are not in the greatest shape right now, um, so I'm not going to be doing a bunch of like plyo moves to get my heart rate up right now, We're just I'm just focusing on um, the weight aspect of this workout but if you want to get a good like cardio workout in first you can do some Tabata so 20 seconds of hard 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 work 10 second rest do that for four minutes so eight times um, or you can just do some jumping jacks some squats some lunges all that stuff so we'll get nice and warm I'm gonna go a little bit slower a little bit more modified for the warm-up um, but like I said feel free to go as hard as you want so uh, we're just gonna start with some knee tucks Pulling down, did I say knee tucks? I meant high knees. So it's really easy for people to just get like sloppy with this kind of stuff, but whenever you're doing any kind of movement, movement, I really can't talk today. Make sure you're engaging your muscles and really pulling. Like you can kind of work against yourself and pretend you're pulling a weight down. And really drive that knee up, engage that core, engage that back. And if you want to make it a bit harder, you can jump while you do this. I can feel my back engaging. We're going to have a good workout. And you can do this at the gym or at home. Now we're going to do walk downs. If you've done my last workout, you will know that these we use quite often. I'm going to do a push up at the bottom just to get my arms ready. You do not have to. And up. Should feel a stretch in those hamstrings. This is also going to work the shoulders. Up. I'm super excited. 
I'm hoping, hoping, hoping this is one of the last videos I will have to do on this MacBook. Because let's get real, the picture quality is not great. And you guys deserve better, so. Fingers crossed for me. And come back up. Now I'm just going to do a forward lunge with a twist. And twist the same direction as the leg that is forward. Really engage that core, feel your obliques when you're twisting. And yes, this is my get shit done bun. You know what I'm saying? I was literally looking in the mirror before I started this and I was like, oh God, like, do I get ready? And I was like, hell no. I don't get ready to go to the gym. I want to be real with you guys. So I decided to stay troll. And I also never work out in shorts. At home I do but not at the gym. All right, now we're just gonna do leg kicks, touch the opposite arm, to the opposite leg, you're doing a bit of an arm circle here as well. I just get way too scared to wear my shorts to the gym, like what if stuff just starts popping out? You never know, ladies, you feel me? I don't know, guys, maybe you feel me too. I don't know though, I've been seeing some pretty short shorts on guys at the gym lately. I don't know how I feel about that, but it is what it is, I guess. To each their own. All right, now we're just gonna get down. We're gonna do a couple shoulder taps, and then we're gonna get started. Like I said, this is a pretty easy, short warm up. Feel free to go harder if you'd like. So try to keep that core and those hips nice and straight. And you're just gonna rotate, alternate, sorry. Which hand taps the opposite shoulder? Oh yeah, my core is already shaking, it's engaged. We're gonna have a good workout. Oh shit, Ava, get out of the bed. Every time I make my bed, my dog just goes and she's like, she crawls up in there and ruins it. Hi, come here. Okay, whatever, she's fine. All right. So tighten your troll bun, grab your weights, and let's get started. I'm going to start with my 15 pound dumbbells, and I'm going to take a seat. We're gonna do a shoulder press first. So we're going to do 12 reps, then we're gonna do 10 reps, then we're gonna do eight reps. And we're gonna do that for this whole set. Yay! Yay, pumpkin shoulders! My landlords are probably upstairs like, what is she screaming at like she lives alone? Okay, so get those dumbbells up. We're gonna go for 12. And you wanna make sure that you're not bringing your shoulders up to your ears. It's a common mistake. You wanna stick those shoulder blades down the sides of your back. Don't let them rise up. This is such an awkward little chair. Nine, three more, 10, 11, 12. Woo! Ah! I might have to drop weight after a few of these. Gnarly, it's just gnarly. All right, so next we have an upright row. So I'm actually gonna hang on to those 15 pound weights. Normally I would do this with a barbell, but because we're at home, I just have the dumbbells. So I'm just gonna stick them together, pretend it's a bar, we're just gonna up and slow down for 12. Two, three. You don't wanna really be gripping the weights, like your life depends on it. Have a nice, comfortable grip on them, but loosen up the tension on there a little bit. This is gonna help you engage your shoulders a little bit more. I think that's six. We might get one extra in. Eight. Nine. Oh, 
my shoulders are already pumped up. 11, and last one, 12. So for this next move, you're gonna wanna drop the weight a bit. It is a forward raise, front raise. So, I'm gonna do eight pounds because I wanna actually make it through this workout with you guys. Shoulders can get sore and tired pretty quick. So, front raise, dumbbells down in front of you, and just what it sounds like, I'm gonna lift them forward. One, oh, two. And like I said before, just a nice, comfortable grip, almost like you're holding a paintbrush. Painting on muscles. That was weird to say. Three more. And last one. Now we're gonna keep those weights. I'm sticking with eight pounds if you need a little bit lighter. Do five, do three even. You're still gonna get a really good workout. You could use freaking, what's something at home? Hot sauce bottles. I would say hot sauce bottles, but it's some weight, you know? All right, now we're doing a lateral raise. So you're just gonna stand weights in front of you and we're just gonna pull these guys to the side for 12. One, two, ooh, three, four, five, you should be feeling this, seven, I mean six, seven, I'm trying to skip, eight, nine, three more. 10, 11, and 12. Woo! Now we're doing a rear delt fly. So I'm actually gonna stick with the eight pounds. There's a good chance that I might need to drop weights at some point, but we'll deal with that when we get to it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna bend your knees and lean over your knees, almost like you're in a squat, but a really terribly formed squat. And you're gonna have your dumbbells facing as if you're holding a barbell. Sorry, I can't talk while I work out. It's a little bit awkward. Um, and what we're going to do, slight bend in those arms, and we're going to fly them and squeeze our shoulders. So we're gonna go for 12, two, and this is gonna work those rear delts. Three, oh yeah, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and if you want a little bit more motion, you can cross those arms. Ten, eleven, and last one. Twelve. Okay. Now we're going to do twelve crawl outs. So you don't need to do a push-up at the bottom. What I am going to do to make it a little bit more difficult than just a crawl out is shoulder touch at the bottom. And then each time we come up and go back down, you'll swap which hand goes first. Sound good? And then we're done our first set. Okay, let's do this. And down. And touch, touch. So this is like a nice little break, essentially. Touch, touch. You can even like dance your way up and like dance your way down. Put a little extra cardio in there, you know what I'm saying? Three. I don't think I'm alternating hands great, but that's okay. Five. Dance it up. Six. Halfway. Then we're done our first set. Seven. This 
is like awkward. I keep having to kind of climb over my weight. Eight. Four more. Nine. Dance it up because we got three more. Ten. Eleven. And last one. And twelve. My hair is probably getting more trolly as the minutes go by. So, quick sip of water. I should probably pull my shorts down. They're turning into underwear. And then we're going to go back around through it for 10 reps. So grab some water. Not too much because you don't want to get cramps or just feel bloaty and heavy. Whew. And if you want to make this even more intense, a little bit more of a HIIT workout, you can do like jump squats during your break. Give those arms a little bit of a rest and then jump right back into it. Keep that heart rate up. But not for me, not today. All right, grab those heavier weights for your shoulder press. Sit it down on your bench. And this is also a really easy workout that you can write down and do at the gym. So... Feel free to do that if you don't want to do it at home or like whip out your phone at the gym to refer to this. All right, weights up, going for 10. One. Remember to keep those shoulders down. Five, halfway. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring those weights down, stand on up. Now we're going to go into our upright row for ten. So remember, weights forward as if you're grabbing a barbell, but it's a dumbbell, so just pretend. And we're going to row it up. One. Two, three, keep that grip nice and relaxed, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10. Woo, my shoulders are on fire. Now we're going into that front raise. So once again, I'm gonna grab those. I'm gonna grab my 10 pounds actually. We're halfway done, I may as well kick it up a little. All right, knuckles facing forward as if you're holding a barbell, and for 10, one. Two. Oh yeah. Three. Your shoulders should be burning. Four. Five. Remember, paintbrush grip. Six. Seven. Ooh. Eight. Nine. And. All right, I'm going to drop weights a little bit. Eight pounds, doing a lateral raise. So we're just going up to the side as well. I mean, once again. All righty. Guys, my shoulders are burning. One. Two. Three. Four. Oh yeah, five. And if you pick too heavy of a weight, stop and do a drop set. 
Do a lighter weight halfway through. Three more. I might have done one extra, but that's okay. It's better than doing one less. Two more. Two. And one. Woo! Now we're doing that rear delt fly. I am dropping down to five pound weights just because I'd rather um, get good form and use less weight than sacrifice and compromise my form by trying to go heavier for you guys. So once again, we're going to get into that bent over seated position. Knuckles facing forward as if we're holding a barbell, but we're not. And once again, if you want more range of motion, just cross your arms and then do the squeeze. If you want less, just leave them there. Then do the squeeze. Sound good? Sound good. Bent over. Want a nice flat back. And for 10. One. Two. Really squeezing those shoulders. Three. Four. This is going to work those delts, the back of those shoulders, which everybody wants. Delts are so sexy. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, really squeeze, ten. All right, and for our little burnout on this guy, we're going to do Arnold Press like Arnold Schwarzenegger. That was ugly. Okay, I'm going to use, you know what? I'm gonna use my 15s. So we're going for 10, that's it, 10. I'm gonna sit down and what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our knuckles facing our heads, arms turned in in front of our faces, and we're going to turn and rotate, press. So essentially it's just a shoulder press with a bit of a turn, as if you're gonna like, kinda smash yourself in the face with the dumbbells, all right? Going for 10, you got this. Dumbbells up, one, two, three, four, shoulders down, five, six, Seven, ah! Eight, my arms are giving out. Nine, and last one, whoo! Ten. I should have maybe used lighter weight. My form did get sacrificed a tiny bit there. All right, done our second round. We have one more. Take a sip of water. Remove underwear shorts from your bum. Quick sip, quick sip. The endorphins are running high. Let's do this. Last one. So we're going to do eight reps for each of these. Just doing the same thing. Um, the burnout move at the end is going to be a little bit different. And we're almost done. And then we'll go cook some healthy recipes. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Going for 15s for eight reps. Sit your little booty down. Throw those weights up carefully. And let's do this. Eight reps, you got this, we're almost done. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Ooh. Seven. And eight. Yes. I make nice lifting faces every once in a while. All right, upright row. You got this. You know what we're doing by now. We should just be going straight into it. One. Two. Woo! Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, last one. My shoulders are feeling this. And eight. Pop those weights down. Unless you only have one size weight, then whatever, just keep it going. 
And if you do only have a heavier weight that you can't do front and lateral raises with, just hold the entire weight for the front raise. There you go. Wow, my shoulders are so sore that that felt hard. That's good. I'm grabbing my eight pounds for the front raise. My shoulders are quite dead, and we're going to go right into it. Eight reps. One. Nice neutral grip, nice and soft. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Two more. Seven. And last one. Eight. Whew. Now we're going into lateral raises. Your arms should be tired, guys. So, just going up. One. Two. Three. Ooh. Four. Five. Six. Ooh, the shoulder pump is real. Seven. And eight. Back down into those rear delt flies. Get into your nice squatting position. We are going faster now because you should know what we're doing by now. And if you don't, that's okay. Just slow it down. Two, squeeze. Three. Four. Five. Halfway. Six. Seven. Oh, yeah. And big squeeze. Eight. And for the last one, we're going to be doing around the world. So hang on to your lighter weights. Palms are facing forwards as if we're holding the dumbbells to do a bicep curl, but we're not. And we're going to go around the world. One, keep those shoulders down. Nice and controlled. Two. Three. We're almost done, guys. Four. Five, six, seven, oh yeah, last one. Nice and controlled. Do it a little bit slower if you want a little bit more tension. Oh yeah, the shake it is real. And down nice and slow. Time under tension. Boom. So, you completed the shoulder workout, but there's more. We're gonna do a burnout. I love my burnouts. It's just a time to just annihilate these shoulders, get her done, finish strong, and then relax and refeed the body. Woo woo. So grab a light weight. This is a very difficult move. If you don't, if you're just dead, that's okay. Watch, you can do it next time, attempt it next time. This is actually a move I learned from P90X, which is what got me started on my fitness journey, which sounds really cheesy, but I was never comfortable in the gym for a very long time, and those helped me get started. Anyways, enough blah, blah, blah. This is called the monkey pump. These five pound weights feel incredibly heavy right now. Let's hope I can do it with the five pounds the whole time, but we're gonna do 10 reps. So you're gonna start here. Squeeze. And down. Tabletop, as if you're setting these on top of a high table. You don't wanna go any lower because that's causing a lot of strain on the muscles and, or sorry, on the shoulders and on the elbows. So we're not gonna do that. So squeeze, down tabletop, back up, squeeze, shoulder press. We're doing it for 10. If you can't get it, that's okay. It'll come in time. It's a really difficult move. Tabletop. Lay your phone down on the table. Think you're doing that. Shoulder press. If you need to use your legs to get you through, that's okay. Three. Phone down. Four. Woo! 
five. You guys, the shake is real. Six. I am using my legs a bit. Seven. Oh. Eight. Oh God, nine. Oh. Last one. My arms are shaking like a leaf. And oh, put those down, shake it out. Holy shite. Oh. Notice your shoulder pump if there is one. I hope there's one, probably can't see it, but you know, fingers crossed you can. So we're just going to shake it out, do whatever you need. Maybe you still got some energy left in you, you do a little bit more. If not, shake it out, stretch with me, you're done. That was a killer shoulder workout. Do whatever feels nice right now, just some good organic movement. Oh, shake it out, all right. Take a sip of water if you need it. I'm okay right now. Not feeling too, too crazy. And we're just gonna stretch it out. So big breath in. And squeeze it down. Really squeeze those shoulder blades back and down. Good job, guys. So freaking proud of whoever joined this page. Joined this page, did that make sense? Probably not. Whoever hopped onto this page, attempted this workout, even if all you did was watch it, guess what? You got some knowledge for your next workout next time you want to work some shoulders. You saw some moves, you seen some things, and now you can attempt it. Whew! These shoulders are sore. So we're just going to cross that arm over, pull it, stretch out that shoulder. And remember, you don't want to ever have your shoulders up to your ears. We carry so much tension and so much stress in our shoulders and our traps, and it's really just so dysfunctional for movement, and it's just such a hard area to detense. So just try to be aware of it. Suck those shoulders up, back, and down. Try to work on that. Something I actively try to work on every day. I carry so much stress in there that it's crazy. And swap arms. Remember, shoulder up, back down. Once again, I am so proud of you guys. And to anybody who is struggling with weightlifting in the sense that you're afraid of getting bulky or just doing weights on their own makes you uncomfortable because, you know, you fear looking manly or you just feel obsessive or compulsive about needing to do cardio. I've been there, but trust me, you'll be okay. Weightlifting is amazing. It's so important to give your body a break from HIIT workouts or cardio or, you know, to bottom, whatever your cardio of choice is. So good to give your body a little bit of a break. All right, bring that arm up, squeeze it back. This is more so work in the tricep, stretching the tricep area. You can still feel it a bit in that shoulder blade and that back. Just hold it here for a minute or two, especially that delt that we worked, you can kind of feel that here. And open it up, other side. I love working shoulders because I find it's one of the, actually I don't know how true this is, but it's one of those muscles that I can really exhaust to the point where it's hard to lift those arms. I find lots of the time when I'm working any other part of my body, I can usually keep it going for quite a while. Um, the soreness isn't quite as real, the pump isn't quite as real. I mean, that being said, it really does depend. That's not 100% true, but shoulders just get sore and pumped up and tired and burny, and I love it. All right, bring that down. And just gonna do some shoulder rolls. Try to eliminate any of that tension. Get some movement going. And do these stretches just anytime you're hanging out, chilling. Oh, that's my phone, sorry. 
and give yourself a big hug. It seems super cheesy, but I did this in yoga the other day, and I was like, you know what, how often do we hug ourselves and actually like pat the back? You did it. You did a good workout. You showed up. You crushed it. You gave it your all. If you didn't, guess what? That's okay. Suit up and show up. You're here. You're watching this. That is a big, big, big thing in itself. So hug yourself. This is not just a great stretch, but also a little bit of self-love. Do, do, do. Shake your troll head and open it up. Thanks for working out with me, guys.